I'm going to show you a technique called single crochet in the front loop one row below. That's the fancy name for it. No, I have no idea if that's the best name for it or not, but it's a great technique to do some shaping in your crochet. And I'll um, show you the technique first and then I'll explain why it's better than other kinds of shaping um, that I've done previously. So here we are. We're ready to do our single crochet in front loop of one row below. So fancy. So here we are. This is the row that we are currently working on. So you can see this is the front loop of the current row we're on. Right here. See? We want to go to the front loop of one row below. So that is this one right here. See how it's one row below? And then I'm going to do my single crochet as usual. Okay? So here we are again. This is the row we're currently on, or would have currently be on, but we want to go one row below. And that's right here. It's easier to use your fingernail maybe to get into that stitch. So we're going to do the specified number of stitches. Okay? And then when it's time to return to regular crocheting, this is where it can actually be quite tricky. So this is the last stitch that we did. Right here, you see? Now you want to go up and make sure you can identify the analogous stitch on the main row you were working on. Okay, so that would be this stitch. So when you return to crocheting, you want to go into the next stitch. So see, this is what we just finished. This is straight up from it, and you want to go into this stitch. You're quite likely here, if you get this bit wrong, um, it would be really common to maybe go into one stitch too far, and then you would have um, one additional stitch on your stitch count. So if you find that happens to you, you can either do a single crochet two together decrease to get back to the stitch count, or you can just undo what you've done um, previously. That's my oven timer. It's time for lunch, yay! So now that it's time for lunch and I've shown you the technique, let me just show you what it looks like when you're finished. So here we go. I've made this adorable little um, elephant trunk. And you can see here that this technique, that's these bumpy little ridges, creates a bend. Now the way I used to do um, shaping for this sort of thing was to do slip stitches here and to do half double crochets along the analogous back part. Um, slip stitches, however, bias to the right very severely. So what would happen is your work would be twisted um, a lot to the side, and if you were trying to count your rows, it could be kind of confusing because of the amount of biasing involved. So this technique, the single crochet in front loop one row below, creates a really nice shaping without that biasing effect that can be really confusing. So there you go, that's how to do it. And the trickiest part, well, there's two tricky parts. One is getting that crochet hook in the right place, right? Remember my tip to just use your fingernail to sneak in there. And the other tip is to identify the next stitch you should go on to when you resume crocheting on your regular row. So remember that's identify the stitch you just did, go directly above it, and then pop over to the next one. And that's the stitch you should be using. Have fun crocheting!